there, I'm Pei Ting from National Parks Board. Today, I'm going to share with you a simple floor arrangement that you can easily do. Floor arrangement is an activity that is demonstrated in therapeutic horticulture to promote fine motor skills, hand-eye coordination and mindfulness. Today, we will be doing a simple floor arrangement that can be used as a centerpiece for your tabletop. Before we start, here are the materials that you will need. A vase or container of your choice, a pair of secateurs, three to four types of flowers and leaves. Choosing the type of flowers and leaves for a floral arrangement is a slow and therapeutic process. Enjoy the process and don't be afraid to try different combinations. For a start, it is good to have a colour palette in mind. It can be complementary or contrasting according to your preference. I like to pick out flowers that have sensory elements such as interesting textures, colours or scents. You can also pick up flowers from your garden and use them for this activity. As we are choosing the type of flowers, just keep in mind to have one or two of them as the focal point of the arrangement. Now that we have our flowers and leaves ready, let's start. Firstly, we will need to fill half of the vase or container with water. Next, we will need to prepare our flowers by cutting off unwanted leaves at the bottom to have a clean stalk. We can use the vase and water level as a gauge to know how much we will need to cut away. This step prevents submerged leaves from rotting, which will eventually cause water contamination. After clearing the leaves, we will need to cut the leaves and flowers to the desired height. Using the vase as a gauge, the flowers and leaves should be at least 1.5 times the height of the vase. Cut the stalk at a 45 degrees angle to allow larger surface area for water absorption. Now we can start by arranging the flowers as the first layer in the vase. I like to form a guide by placing them pointing five different directions in a clockwise manner. This then forms holes in between where we can then layer on with the leaves. Next, we can then add in more flowers to achieve the desired volume. Gaps in between the arrangement can be further infilled with complementary flowers and fillers to achieve the ideal look. This also brings colours and textures to the arrangement. We can continue adding the leaves and turning the vase round to check if the arrangement is balanced. You should also trim off the excess if it doesn't fit into the vase or container. This can also be used to make into smaller bouquets or arrangements. Lastly, find a good spot away from direct sun and place our finished floral arrangement there. Remember to give it a change of water every day. Floral arrangement is an activity that promotes creative expression. What are the favourite parts of your activity? I love the process of choosing and smelling the flowers as it helps me to contemplate and relax. I hope I have inspired you to start creating your very own floral arrangement. Thank you!